It's another edition of the Trading Tips video newsletter, teaching you how to become a successful trader in less than five minutes per week. The video newsletter is brought to you by TradingTips.com. Welcome to this TradingTips.com video newsletter on inverted hammers. Inverted hammers are short-term candlestick formations that indicate the end of a downtrend. Let's begin. An inverted hammer is a single candlestick formation, not a chart pattern. It occurs in a downtrend and predicts the end and possible reversal of that trend. Before we can go deeper into the criteria that make up an inverted hammer, we first have to review a little bit about candlesticks. A candlestick shows the high, opening, closing, and low prices of a stock for a given period, usually a day, all in one figure. The high and low are the highest and lowest points of the candlestick, represented by the vertical lines on top of the box or real body as it's properly called. If the real body is filled in red or black, it means the stock closed lower than it opened, and thus the horizontal line at the top of the box is the stock's opening price, and the horizontal line at the bottom of the box is the closing price. If the real body is white or green, it means the stock closed higher than it opened, and thus the top vertical line of the box is the closing price, and the bottom line is the opening price. Another note on terminology. The vertical lines extending from the real body and signifying the intraperiod highs and lows are known as the candlestick's upper and lower shadows. Here's an example of an inverted hammer occurring at the bottom of a downtrend. What do you notice about the final candlestick on this chart? What's unique about it? Let's look at what makes an inverted hammer. First, it must be at the end of a downtrend. Secondly, the upper shadow should be longer than the real body, and the lower shadow should be virtually non-existent meaning the lower of the opening and closing prices should be very close to the stock's low for that period. The previous slide looked at the bare minimum requirements for qualifying as an inverted hammer. Now we'll look at some of the things that make a stronger inverted hammer. The real body should gap from the previous day's real body. Secondly, the longer the upper shadow, the better. And finally, it's important to note that it doesn't matter if the stock closed higher than it opened or lower, so long as the bottom shadow is very short or, better yet, non-existent. Here's an example of an inverted hammer occurring on a real stock chart. In this example, notice that the inverted hammer does have a little bit of a lower shadow, but it is still very short. There's a substantial gap between its real body and the real body of the previous day's candlestick, and its upper shadow is much longer than its real body. It occurred amid a general downtrend, and sure enough, signaled the reversal of that trend. In fact, Microsoft experienced a 22% gain over the next 11 trading days. In conclusion, one thing that's important to note here is that an inverted hammer signifies the end of a trend, not necessarily a reversal. In other words, the stock could come out of the inverted hammer to trade sideways rather than beginning a bullish uptrend. Secondly, be sure to pay attention to the information about bodies and shadows. If the criteria aren't present, then you don't have an inverted hammer. And finally, since you don't know that an inverted hammer is an inverted hammer until after it's proven that the downtrend is over, always wait for a confirmation. We hope you've enjoyed this TradingTips.com video newsletter. Thanks for watching and good trading. This Trading Tips video newsletter has been brought to you by Manny Backus's First Hour Trading System. Every day there's money to be made in the first hour of stock trading. This is the world of day trading. Not for novices. Unless you have a system. The First Hour Trading System. Visit FirstHourTrading.com now and sign up for a free 30-day trial. You could make enough in the first hour of your day to take the rest of the day off. Do you want to view more Trading Tips videos? Visit TradingTips.com. Sign up for our free video newsletters. Become a successful trader by visiting TradingTips.com.